Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question two from the Jan 2016 POA paper two. If you want to see the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So please be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so we have a partnership question. Cassie and Casey entered into a partnership on 1 Jan 2015. So it says here, capital invested. Cassie is 142,000, Casey is 128. And we have some drawings made during the year, 25,000 for Cassie, 22,000 for Casey. The partners agree the following. So each partner should receive interest on capital of 10% per annum. Then we have interest on drawing should be charged at 7% per annum. Casey is to receive an annual salary of 25,000. Remaining profits or losses should be shared in the ratio of three to two respectively. And then we have the following information, additional information, sorry, is available. The partnership made a net income of 55,000 during the year ended 31st December 2015 and they want us to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account for the partners for the year ended 31st December 2015. Okay, so as per usual, we need to head up our financial statement. So we start with the name of the partnership, Cassie and Casey, the name of the statement, which is a profit and loss appropriation account and the period to which it applies, which is the 31st of December 2015. We get some dollar signs going there and we start with the net income of 55,000. Now, before any appropriations are made, we have to um, add the interest on drawings. So the drawings made for the year were 25,000 and 22,000 respectively, and the interest is charged at 7% per annum. So for Cassie, it's 7% of 25,000, Casey is 7% of 22,000, giving us a total of 3,290, which is added to the profit before appropriation to give us a new profit that will be appropriated. Now, we do some appropriations. First thing, interest on capital. So the interest on capital is 10% per annum, and these are the capital figures for Cassie and Casey respectively. So we're gonna find 10% of each of those items, and that's gonna give us a total interest on capital of 27,000. The next thing we have to do is the salary. So I think only one partner is getting salary, which is Casey, a salary of 25,000. So we're gonna add those two together to get a total appropriation of 52,000, which is deducted from the 58 to 90 above to give us a profit after appropriation of 60 to 90. Now we're gonna share that residual profit. So it says remaining profits or losses are to be shared in the ratio three to two respectively. How do we deal with the ratios? So what we do is we add those two numbers together. Three and two is five, and we put each digit over that total. So it's a three-fifths, two-fifths split to Cassie and Casey respectively. So Cassie gets three-fifths of the profit, Casey gets two-fifths, and it adds back to the 60 to 90, which means everything, all the profit has been appropriated. Okay, the next thing they want us to do is the current accounts, but I need to rearrange my screen, so let's give me a couple seconds. Okay, so let's take a look at these current accounts now. So because this, these partners just started, there will be no current account balances at start. All right, because remember, current accounts show the earnings and withdrawals of the partners accumulated over time. And if your partnership just started, you would not have any previous accumulations of earnings or withdrawals, All right? But the earnings for the partners would be the interest on capital, the salary, and the share of profit. So we're gonna put those things on the credit side, All right? So yeah, if you want, you can put balances at start zero, zero, Interest on capital, 14,2128, salary, 25,000 to Cassie only, and share of profit to Cassie and Casey respectively, right? Because remember, the current account show the earnings, and earnings to partners would increase their, their, their investment, their capital, right? But of course, we're keeping the capital account separate and apart, so we use this as like a kind of proxy to show these earnings. Now, the withdrawals, those would be the interest on drawings and the drawings themselves. So we're gonna go on the other side, and we're going to put in the drawings, right, 25 and 22 respectively, and then the 1750, so the information is taken from it, right, 1750, 1540. All right, so, all right, so it looks to me like Cassie, who withdraws about 26, almost 27,000, but her earnings are only about 17, barely even 18,000. So she's going to have a balance carried down from the credit side and brought down on the debit side. Casey, however, well, that's about 37, 39, almost 40,000 here, and she took out about 23.5. So Casey will definitely have, uh, what you call it, a balance carry down from the debit side there. All right, so we're gonna have some totals, and we're gonna have some balances brought down. And the question also asks about the significance of the balances on the partner's current accounts. A debit balance on the current account, as in the case of Cassie, means that there's a deficit on the current account. The partner withdrew more than he or she earned, so deficit. In the case of Casey, 
you have a surplus because the partner earned more than he or she withdrew. Okay guys, so there you have it. If you have any further questions on this item, please let me know in the comment section below. If you wanna check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Don't forget to check out my website for free POA handouts. And until next time guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you, bye.